Hey there everyone. Happy New Year. Happy uh, January 1st of 2026. It's 22 degrees and 6 inches of snow on everything. Um, I couldn't stay home another day so I had to get over here and uh, do something productive. So I figured that I would come over and work a little bit more on the uh, modifications that need to be made to the drive shaft from the McDonald rolling mill to get them to fit at our site and tied into the Todd engine. So let's take a look inside the caboose here. All right. So this drawing here shows the uh, the electric drive for the 14-inch uh, mill at McDonald, all except for the uh, the, the finishing stands. Uh, so you had this main drive motor and then drive shaft that came off in either direction. And off of this drive shaft, you had bevel gears. And see that went to number nine stand, number eight, number five. And then you match that to that. You had a uh, coupling and disregard all the red there. Uh, another coupling here and all the way down to here, six and seven. And those are the ones that we saved. This is the gearbox that we have uh, sitting out there. And then if you follow it, there's the, uh, the other um, view of the, uh, that drive shaft. And then this is it coming out perpendicular. And then there's a two mil stand. So that's basically what we acquired. We, we purchased from that mill coupling down to this uh, gearbox. And then also uh, this auxiliary gearbox here, there was a, or not a gearbox, but a bearing. And uh, this bearing here we got, and then we got everything down here, the mill stands, the mill shoes and everything. So what we have to do is shorten this. We need to shorten this shaft as close as possible. And as a matter of fact, this, uh, this shaft is over at a uh, machine shop at McDonald, actually in the portion of the plant that was not demolished, a company called Mandrel Group, and they are working to shorten this shaft by 10 feet, take 10 feet out of here, which brings this bearing back as close as we can get it here, and so that we can reduce the distance between the drive shaft and the front of the mill stands. Uh, so that work is already being done. Now, going the other way, um, basically, you have the gear gearbox here, the wall, the south wall of the Todd building is right here, and then you have the steam engine over here. So we basically need to take this drive shaft and then reduce its length, bring this all the way back into here so that we have enough room to tie this to the Todd engine. So let's go over to the Todd building and I'll show you what that looks like. All right. So this is uh, the engine, of course, the universal mill coupling, and the uh, the first drive shaft bearing. And what we have to do here is make this connection between the uh, this coupling to the drive shaft that runs out to the. Uh, to the big gearbox sitting right there and the bevel gears. So what what Youngstown Sheet and Tube used was what they called uh, universal mill couplings. And this is the uh, the female end and they had two of these. They would face each other and in the middle would be a spindle which had forked ends on it. And it would look, uh, look just like this. So this is the, uh, the spindle and then this is a drawing of what this coupling would look like. So basically what we have to do to connect everything together is make a casting. Make one of these and make one of these. And then put the spindle in here and then put that other coupling in right here. And then tied from that coupling to this coupling through a series of uh, bolts that would that would bolt these two together and then from here going this way is the uh, the original McDonald equipment 
This coupling is uh, keyed into the drive shaft already, and there are, I think, six or eight bolts that would bolt the two coupling halves together. So this, this new coupling and the spindle are pieces that do not exist, and we're gonna have to make them up, uh, meaning that uh, we have to have patterns made and have them cast out of steel and then machined to fit here. Uh, and then what we would do is uh, drill and tap holes in the back end of this coupling and then bolt the two couplings together. So if you go by the, um, the, the McDonald drawing, um, it, it'll locate this bearing center about right where it's at. Looks like we're about an inch too far that way, but that'll be easy to move because this isn't this isn't bolted in yet or anything. It still, um, you know, still needs to be aligned and put in place, which we didn't do that because we didn't have this figured out yet. And then from this bearing center, it's 36 inches to the wall, and it's nine feet from that center line to the center of the rolling mill and that other drive shaft. So knowing all of that information, uh, laying this all out, I was able to figure out, you know, how big that spindle had to be. Cause that was, that was the only variable really, uh, is um, how big to make the spindle. And then secondly, how far to cut this drive shaft back. Cause we'll have to take it to a machine shop, have them cut it back, machine the end, and then put that, um, this 22-23 coupling on the drive shaft. So, uh, so this is basically, you know, what we have to do. Uh, you know, these aren't small pieces. This casting here is going to be eh, 1,947 pounds. This one here is about 2,800 pounds. The, uh, the Todd drawing gave a spec of a 0.35 to 0.45 carbon, which is basically an AISI 1040 steel, pretty common grade, uh, nothing special about it, just a little higher carbon steel. And besides what we're going to be doing with it, it'll be more than plenty. Um, so, so then we, uh, then we have to look at, you know, when we're running this rolling mill, and we're actually doing something with it. How fast do we need the Todd engine to spin in order to get enough speed to be useful? So in designing the electric motor drive, I'm using a figure of 30 RPM, which is if the uh, compound wound motor is running at the 650 RPMs that it would run at at 230 volt DC, uh, it would turn the... Um, the forklift tires fast enough to make the flywheel spin 30 rpm so using that information then i came over here and figured out the engine's running at 30 and it's a 1.227 gear ratio in that big gearbox between the two bevel gears so it gives me uh you know, about 24 and a half rpm uh on the mill rolls themselves which is which is decent it's not super fast but it's also not super slow either and especially when you're running a bar that's maybe eight or ten feet long uh, through that and you're doing it by hand, that's, that's a decent speed. All right, everyone, that's enough of that coldness. Back here in the caboose where it's a little bit warmer. Uh, so one last thing I wanted to show you, uh, this is the drawing of the, uh, the drive shaft that goes from the gearbox to the coupling uh, for the Todd engine. And as you can see, it's, it's a good 28 feet long. And we need it about, well, 10 feet shorter or so. Um, I'm going to go and take some measurements here next and figure out exactly what we have to move in order to, uh, to get this down to the right length. And then I'll send that over to Adam and we'll produce the, uh, the drawing for it. And then go find a uh, machine shop that can, that can do this work for us to get this shortened. All right, everybody. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to get back to work here and doing some productive things, but uh, this is going to be a big year for us because we've got uh, uh, up until September 19th to make that flywheel spin. A lot of work between now and then, and uh, in about a year and a half or so before we want to roll a bar on the mill, and I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it. We'll just keep up the pace. So. 
thanks to everyone who's helped us so far. And, and uh, if you haven't had a chance to come out and visit or, um, you know, come on out and pay us a visit. Or if you live close enough or you can volunteer or provide some help to us, we really would appreciate it. This is the only time anybody's going to do something as crazy as building a steam-driven rolling mill. So I'd really like to see this thing succeed. So, all right, everyone, take care.